Whoosh! The open tray impression coping. You might be wondering how the hell this little part even works. Let's open it up and I'm gonna show you. All right, so this is what the impression coping looks like. So it's made up of two parts. All right, so let me remove the screw. So I'm just gonna, you don't have to do this, but I'm just doing this to show you the two different parts. So this is the actual um, impression coping, right? So the part that goes onto the implant, uh, this is the part that sticks out, and this is the screw. The screw is really long, right? So that way it can stick out through the impression material and you'll easily find it. So actually don't, go, don't remove these two, I just did that just to show you. I'm gonna put them back together and I'm gonna show you right now how to take an impression. All right, so here's your implant. Okay, there's your implant. And here's your open tray impression coping. What you're gonna do is hold this impression coping with your thumb and your index finger and you're gonna put it onto the platform. And as you place it, you're gonna kinda of like roll your fingers. Watch. See, you roll it so that way you feel when, it's, when it locks in. So I'm gonna roll it and I hear it and I feel it too. I feel it go onto the platform, see? So it goes on right there and when I feel it kind of lock in and do that little snappy thing, I'm gonna go ahead and take my little driver and I'm going to tighten it onto the implant. Okay, I tighten it on there. At this point you can take a radiograph so taking a bite wing radiograph will show you that the platform is fully seated uh, with internal hex implants like this one. With internal hex implants and components, um, you can pretty much feel that it's on right. You know, you don't necessarily have to take an x-ray, but that's always a good idea. Anyway, so say your x-ray is taken, it's seated well. Uh, now, this is what you do. All right, so next you get your impression tray. Yeah, this is a mandibular arch. You, you want to use a maxillary arch, but I'm going to show you on this. So you put it over the patient's teeth, and then you take note of where that impression coping should stick out from. So you kind of try to peek through the sides and see where it is, and you want your impression coping to be able to stick out through it. So now I'm going to go ahead and modify the tray so that the impression coping sticks out through it. So I've made my initial hole in the tray and now I'm gonna put it over the patient's teeth and see if I'm in the right area or if I'm sort of off. So right now that's pretty close. I'm gonna make this hole just a little bit wider just to make sure that I can stick that on and that the impression coping will still stick through and that it's not binding around that impression coping because once you put impression material inside, it's kind of harder to find that uh, that coping. So let's open it up just a little bit bigger. All right, so now it's bigger. I put it over here. Looks pretty good. So let's see, it's not really binding anywhere. Looks great, showing through. All right, so now as my assistant loads up the tray with heavy body impression material, I'm gonna be expressing light body around this impression coping. You wanna make sure to go on the buckle, on the lingual, you wanna capture all the way circumferentially around this impression coping because you want it to catch these grooves and to, uh, to get you a good impression. I also express a little bit of light body in the adjacent teeth, uh, the occlusal surfaces of the adjacent teeth. So now that the impression material has set, you wanna go ahead and find that impression coping. See how it sticks out through the impression material because you made sure to swipe off the impression material from the, the screw access. Now you go ahead and un, unscrew it. And you wanna keep doing it until you hear. So that clicking noise is what tells you that your screw is completely um, untightened. All right, so now you give it a big strong tug on the sides, on the front, and this other side. So you wanna make sure to tug it on all the sides so that way you're not putting any undue strain on the teeth. And let's go ahead and pop this thing off, boom. And so there's the light body that wrapped around the impression coping and there's a heavy body. Everything looks pretty good. The important part is that this impression coping is completely immobilized 
by the impression material. So as long as this is immobile, you're in good shape because your lab will be able to throw an analog on there and do the restoration. So I'd say that's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. You got this.